Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And I was asked, what about CPTS versus PMPT? And is that even a realistic matchup? And what would it look like in a perfect world? Meaning there was no favoritism as far as so-called industry standard just because you were there long enough. Let's look at the data, facts, and what they both have to offer and what it will look like again in a perfect world. Hop right in. So as I was saying, CPTS versus PNPT. CPTS by Hack the Box and PNPT from TCM Security. Now, in all honestly, there isn't even a verse versus a match with these two. Uh, for me, the match would be CPTS versus OSCP. For these two, these are two different types of exams, in my opinion. Meaning, the way PNPT is structured and how it's tailored as far as their training goes, this is better for an a, a realistic beginner. Um, into ethical hacking, offensive security, penetration testing, whatever you want to brand it as, right? So that, what I mean by that is, yeah, Hack the Box says CPTS is beginner, but they usually downplay their things a notch when they're actually turned up a notch for Hack the Box. So anything that says is more than likely, I'd say about 80% of what Hack the Box classifies as beginner is actually intermediate. Um, so, and when I say beginner, or PMPT, don't take that out of context. The context is, is meaning you're a beginner going into offensive security, ethical hacking, penetration testing, and you have a basic foundation of Linux and networking fundamentals. You're not an expert at either, but you know how to move around, you know how to navigate in Linux, you know how to create, make directories, et cetera, SSH, the whole nine, but you're not a system expert system administrator but you understand you can move around Linux. Networking, you're not a network senior CCIE Cisco network engineer. You have a basic understanding of networking, protocols, layers, et cetera. Then PMPT is for you. Uh, the, diff the training, both trainings are great. However, one does not have video, one has video. Um, PN, the TCM security has video. Their labs are great. They not only give you great labs, but most of them, at least the ones that I've took, taken, their courses, you have to build your own. Um, meaning like Active Directory for their uh, was it ethical, ha ethical hacking course. Uh, it comes with the was it four or five classes or courses. Um, then they also got their Win, Windows and Linux privilege escalation i think those are separate if i remember an osint is separate as well I, I i forgot i haven't done it in a while but my point is you get to actually build a hands-on lab um you know your frank castle spider-man marvel etc you actually get to build your lab your active directory environment they have a, a tool on github where it does it automatically for you but if you're also new to active directory this is great because it goes literally hand-holding I don't mean handling in a, in a bad way. I mean it like you know, legit that they literally walk you step by step on how to do it. And if you want to make it more complex, but don't, you know, get too carried away and it messes up your training and, and course material. So uh, again, there's no competition between the two. I would say, in, in my honest opinion, these complement each other, meaning PNPT and then CPTS. Perfect world. Um, you know, just because one's been there longer, quote unquote, OSCP, industry standard, the changes, the lab material, the issues with, you know, the try harder, still got to go out, purchase, purchase more, which most people purchase one of these two, if not both, uh, on top of the OSCP training material. The issues with the labs, the VPNs not connecting, uh, you know, the, again, the material not being part of the OSCP. These two for me, Hand in hand are complementary if you want to get into the field of offensive security. So let's just go over these real quick. You could, I'm just going to do like kind of like a little touchdown with this. Uh, again, it's five days to complete. One uh, uh, exam attempt plus one free retake. Um, two days to write the report. So you get, a uh, believe, a total of seven days. Hands on local labs, 45 hours of on demand training. You get that lifetime once you purchase uh, the newer certs, meaning uh, I got grandfathered in with this. 
because uh, I got this be way before they went to the subscription model. I got mo all their courses except one. I think it was at one of their blue team or sock ones. Um, so mind you, with PNPT and CPTS, they're going to be real, real critical and real strategic. Or not strategic, real anal on your reports. So the reports are really different. The uh, so in the sense where for the CPTS, you literally had to do step by step and then show like um, kind of like a proof of concept plus remediation. Um, you don't have to go in depth and literally like step by step by step with everything and all the screenshots uh, with PNPT. You still need, I'd say about 60% of it, but not, not that much. Um, and if you're missing things uh, that quote unquote, which, uh, you know, I forgot, I got real lazy with my report, especially coming off of the OSCP persistence. You don't have that there or you have it, you forget your screenshot, even though you forgot that screenshot, but you showed it somehow going down the, the daisy chain of your exam um, or the pen test, you're going to fail the report. So just make sure double, triple, quadruple check your reports um, because they are going to be real anal and nitpicky about your reports for both of them and cpts requires more more step by step you know rather than pmpt at least in my experience so um again this one is good because you know you start off as an external with osint um you go through you know your web portion of it they give you some stuff in the exam so make sure you read everything i don't know if the exam has changed since i took it in July. I uh, took it in June, but passed it uh, July 12th. Um, they give you, you know, a word list, I think some usernames. Um, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that, but I'll stop there. But don't make sure you read everything that is given to you in the exam uh, before, you know, where it says your um, your in scope, out of scope section area. Um, they'll have some stuff to download there. Just make sure you read everything in, uh, thoroughly. Uh, also, you know, You'll have to, the, also the difference with this is uh, PMPT, you're going to have to meet with someone after you turn in your report. They'll send an email to schedule it. Uh, you're Just for me, for what I did at least, I just went over an executive bullet point high level of what I got, what I popped, um, you know, what I did, uh, and then, you know, just repeat the process down until I got uh, admin access or domain ad admin access. Um, CPS, they don't do that. However, they will give you feedback. Whether you pass or fail, they'll give you feedback in your, um, in your section, uh, under the exam section. So, I mean, pretty much, again, for PNP, PNPT, I love their training. I love how they do it. Uh, you know, literally, again, it's not a bad thing. Hand-holding step-by-step the whole way down. Um, with, with So far, I haven't taken all their training, but I've done some of them, like, uh, you know, PJWT was the other one. The uh, new, I just barely got the advanced web. I just skimmed through it just to see it, but it literally is the same structure. Oh, and the API one, now that one, it put that before. Um, they have the advanced web. So I believe that's the same one that's included. That was another good one as well. Their original web one um, and their original phishing one that was b way back in the day. So they pretty much are laid out in consistency that way, um, which I really like. And again, this is great for beginners um, going into offensive security with the context of you have your Linux and networking basics, um, you know, good to go. Not a fresh off the boat beginner where you don't know a damn thing about Linux or networking. I'm not saying you can't do it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, now on to the CPTS. So again, this is going to be classified. Uh, no, but again, beginner. Uh, from what I read in the past, but yeah, now it's medium, and this one too. So again, unless it's changed, these two were the beginner ones. Um, I believe this one as well, and then this one was the expert going down. But um, some pages you read, it's going to say beginner. It is not beginner. So. Thing about this, uh, when you, if when you take the CPTS, is forty five to fifty percent of of um, 
the modules here are going to be done already. Uh, so this is like a big, big external um, engagement, right? So pretty much, again, their training is really good. Everything you need in the training is here. Um, there was that little piece of the API. If you're not familiar with API, if you, if you have basic knowledge of API attacks or uh, API attack methodologies, you'll figure it out. But um, just for the most part, I wish that was covered more so. Uh, there is a someone just com made a comment on the last video that there is an API attack module. I don't believe that it's part of any path, um, at least not when I took it or any of them. So I think that should that should have been included. But I mean, for the most part, you can figure it out, especially with chat GPT. So again, there's a little bit of the try harder, but it is doable. It's not as crazy as oh. It but with this, this one is really, 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 really good. Meaning um, this is more of an immediate level test. And again, I've been told by multiple people that are in the in managers and red teamers, pen testers, et cetera, whatever you want to brand yourself as. Obviously the difference with managers and one person had the CPTS, one person had OSCP. They're taking the person with the CPTS hands down. Now, um, that Back to this, uh, you know, everything is in this training. Uh, this training is good. Again, there is no videos. I thought that was going to be an issue for me because I need both. Um, but that was not the case. The training is there. And yeah, you know, for the most part, everything is in there that you need. But if you need a, any kind of other understanding for the CPTS, obviously there's Google, there's Hack Tricks, YouTube, there's all kinds of other resources that are free that you don't. So again, everything is here. But if you need a different way or a different twist, um, you know, there's ways out there that are free to find it. And also there's a discord for hack the box. There's other discords for red team village, etc. You know, there's all kinds of dis discord channels where you could get where they have their exam, you know, uh, chats or tabs and yes, is right there with OSC. So this one is re really good, real lengthy. Um, you can't take the exam until you complete the training or the pathway 100%, whereas TCM, you don't even need to do the training. You just hop on and take Um, But I think now you have to purchase the training with the exam because of the subscription. Uh, when that changed, uh, it wasn't like that before. I just bought my uh, voucher. So for this video, um, again, there's no really any competition. These are complementary uh, to one another. So my recommendation in a perfect world scenario Again, with the context, you have your Linux and networking fundamentals. Start off with the PMPT, work your way to the uh, PTS and hack the box. Um, and in between or in parallel, in parallel, you can either do either or is web, their bug bounty or CVBH. They're complementary. I still haven't done the uh, uh, both their bug bounty trainings. I think the TTM is PJWT. Uh, as far as their, the, the cert name. Um, so I might even just do that this year as well, just to get it out of the way, I already bought it. Um, but you could do those in, in complimentary or do these two and then do those two parallel. So yeah, that's that's my take again. Um, there's no really competition with these two. There's no versus, it's all complimentary and in a perfect world, PMPT and CPS in my So that's the video. Let me know if you agree in the comments, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.